like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you gold diggers but that's the exception i'm the rule everybody i know who's married right now they're married to broke ass i beg your pardon um another one so a recent video of mine seems to have um upset members of a certain community and it this um all the backlash just really made me you know just really do a deep dive like do a soul search and after all that I still couldn't find a care. Bitch, <laughs> shut the fuck up! All right, so I'm just gonna be real. Um, this is one of the things that I've talked about before, and I'm gonna be very specific. Um, when it deals specifically with black men out here that decide that they want to, you know, date who not or whatever, uh, they tend to allow, you know, certain things to transpire that just should not transpire at all. And uh, things like this need to stop. They need to stop 100%. And again, I'm, I'm just theorizing. I'm just guessing, you know, when it's dealing with this. Um, but nine times out of 10, when you have uh, women like this that are so comfortable with using certain terms, uh, when they're describing uh, black people, more specifically black men, usually more than likely they were with or they've dated, they were engaged, they were married to or they had kids specifically with a black man or black men they were around black men or a black man that okayed or made them feel comfortable enough to use that term when describing black men and as i've stated before i can't sit up there and blame nobody else for this and i sat up there and told people before if for any of the black guys out there if, if you are just so happening to, you know, be in a relationship and, you know, this term gets brought up and it's used against you, you're going to have to figure out is the person using it in a positive light or if they're using it in a negative light. And again, that's on you. There's nobody that you're going to be able to run to. There's nobody that you're going to be able to cry to. That is that's going to be an area of which you are going to be in um, at that moment in time. You are going to have to figure your way out of it just like you saw your way directly into it. Again, like I said before, uh, none of these women out here at all should be comfortable uh, with doing this, with saying this, with making videos like this. It would be at a point in time, if this was the early 2000s, the 90s and the 80s, things like this would never exist because everybody had their position and their spot in the world and everybody knew how everything worked. Now, because people think that everything is so fluid, people think that they could just swim and go any and every single where that they want to go. And the main excuse that people sit up there and use, well, you know, you guys use it all the time. Second excuse, well, you guys, uh, you know, talk like this all the time. Uh, well, you guys put it in the, the, the media and the rap music, you know, all the time. What do you expect everybody else to do? Right. Because those people are making it seem like common sense is not common. They make it seem like, well, you know, if everybody else is doing it, then I'm going to sit up there and do it, too. That makes no sense. Because let's be honest, if we put a lot of circumstances directly out there and we know that they're detrimental and negative and want to use those for an example as to, well, if everybody else is doing this negative thing or this other thing, then I should sit up there and do it here because I'm, I'm with the Romans. Nah, that's stupid. That's stupid logic. That's telling me that as an adult, you don't know how to move without following other people. That means that you are a follower. That means that you are not a logical thinker. You're not a critical thinker. That means that you cannot lead yourself. AKA you're not an adult and you need somebody to tell you um, how to adult and when to adult. That's completely nonsensical and stupid. And if that is the case, I hope that you do not have kids <laughs> at all. Zero. In the heat of battle, he don't miss. No. In the heat of controversy, he don't miss. No. And then she made a further stance in the second video where she was like, well, you know, I tried to dig deep. I, I tried to look, you know, all over the place and I, I really couldn't care. Right. So she was standing directly on it. She was like, I said exactly why. You know where she lives. <laughs> I'm just going to be 100% honest. You know where she lives. And I can tell you that it is not in a uh, in an area where the greater majority of the population is black. I can tell you that. 
because she would never walk out of the house stating that and talking like that every single day throughout her day when she's meeting and amongst and around she would never do it because somebody would have set her straight real quick let's let's just be honest let's just be real somebody would have set her straight real quick and you would have heard directly about it on social media that just is what it is we all know exactly what it is this is why so many people like her are directly comfortable on social media on their own platforms saying stuff like this in the safety of their own homes because they know exactly where it is that they live and who it is that they live amongst let's just be 100 percent honest because the white man and then the last video she wanted to stand on some type of moral soapbox she was like you want to talk about uh racism and, and things that are you know going on like go over there and look at africa uh, they, they they got some some type of slavery uh going on you know directly over here you better be blessed you better be thankful that you are directly in america and you know all this other just 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 go look just go look i'm like you do realize since you want to bring up that example um that over in america everybody here is a slave too you're, you're literally working for a system that does not work for you you're working for a system that originally was supposed to be for you that was supposed to provide for you that was supposed to help you out that was supposed to support you you're working for a system that realistically the people have control over but because people are too lazy stupid dumb and slow they decide to relinquish that power and that control and give it to a few individuals so that they can rule over the majority doesn't that sound like slavery doesn't that sound like what it is that black people were once in when it dealt with the united states but now everybody is in it everybody's literally on a plantation called america where it's ruled by the few and the few rule over the many huh and then you got her thinking that she has some epiphany an aha moment to sit up there and try to tell black people ah you should never sit up there and talk about america go over there and look at what the africans are dealing with look at that look at that and then look at america look at america look at them look at them look at america but i'm like everybody here is a slave I i'm just not understanding why it is that she can't understand that she is a slave at this moment in time but you know i guess some people are more compliant to other things when their people are the face of everything i guess i don't know and then she wanted to you know go on another moral rant and she wanted to talk to uh women and like hey you you want to sit up there and argue and have a problem with america da, da, da. look look what's over there happening to you know the middle east look at what those women have to go through and look at what it is that you're going through here i, I am blessed as a woman to 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 be here and then she'll be like it, it don't matter what you are directly in america you, you better be blessed and happy to be here because if you were anywhere else things would be vastly different anybody can say that for any country anybody can use the example of their country i'm pretty sure some european countries like uh what denmark uh, going over in Amsterdam and in and, and, and Norwegian areas, um, I'm pretty sure they could say the exact same thing about America. They can compare what it is that they got and compare that to America. And they will sit up there and tell you that they're a lot cleaner. They're a lot more civil. They have a lot less crime and everything else in comparison to America. If you actually compare certain other countries directly to America, we would almost appear as if we are a third world country. It's crazy. When you look at the education, when you look at the crime, when you look at the health care, when you look at the food, when you look at the medical system, when you look at the laws and the regulations in comparison to some of the other countries out here. Yeah, it, we're looking pretty far behind, pretty far behind. But, you know, she didn't want to go that deep directly into it because I guess that would break down the uh, the whole facade, the whole narrative, the you know whole cloak and dagger you know, the house of cards type of deal. Like I said before, um, I don't know where people are at this moment in time, but if you have an opinion, sometimes it, it's not good for you to state it. You, you should just keep that directly in a lockbox in your mind and just leave it there. And again, for any of the black men that decide to uh, deal with uh, Susie Homebaker here for this example, um, it is 100% on you when things like this take place. It is on you. And it is on you if any other black dude out there has to sit up there and deal with her after you. Because you could have put a stop to this. You could have put a limiter directly on that. You could have set the rules, the tone, and the regulations. But you opted not to do it because you wanted to sit up there and go this route. So I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm, just, uh, I'm just saying. 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 But anyways, uh, much love, respect, and appreciation. And, uh, you know, if you like the video or got some comments or concerns, you can leave those directly in the comment description below. And as always, peace, love, and stay tuned for the next video. Now everybody is seeing what I have seen for the last couple years.